What's up guys, Camro here, and welcome to part 30 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Wonder Trades. I'm going to focus on two scripts in particular today. The first script is a more randomized approach to Wonder Trade, and the second script is a more structured approach to Wonder Trade. And these are both pretty cool because they are offline Wonder Trade scripts that don't require an internet connection. I actually don't know how to implement internet connection into these games yet, but you know, that's pretty complicated, and if I figure that out, I'll make a video for that too. But yeah, these are both offline wonder trades, so no internet is required, so that's pretty neat. And with that said, let's get into it. So I have both the scripts open here online. Um, the first script, the more randomized option, is by the user Black Eternity. And uh, the link to both of these will be in the description, by the way. Um, so essentially, all the, all the code is here, and what this script does is you enter the command PB Wonder Trade, and then you input some fields. The way it works is the first field is the minimum level for Pokemon that you can Wonder Trade. So in this case, one. One is the lowest level of Pokemon you can Wonder Trade. If you want to make it so you can only Wonder Trade at level 10 or something, then you know, enter 10 there instead. And then the second field is Pokemon that you cannot trade. Like, you don't want people giving away their starters. So you could put the starter there as something that you can't give away. The third field are Pokemon that you cannot receive. You cannot, like, for example, you cannot receive Mewtwo from the Wonder Trade. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. There is another factor that comes into play later, but I'll talk about that once we start implementing the script. So essentially what you want to do is just go and copy all the script. There are some other things that are pretty cool too, and I'll talk about those after I paste the script in. But yeah, so you can really just go down, copy all the script, go into your game, and paste it in. And I have pasted it in already. Here it is. This is my Wonder Trade script from Black Eternity. So, he at the, the at the very top, he just shows you some of the rules. It's a lot of the stuff that I've been saying, and I've just been I've been regurgitating it because it's what I read. Anyway, there is another factor. So I said there's three things. There's actually four things. There was a revision added that incorporated a really cool feature where the Pokemon that you receive from the trade can be determined by the rarity of the Pokemon, and then by default that is on. If you want to turn that off, then do comma false at the end. So, if you want to make it so that way your Pokemon that you receive are not determined by rarity, definitely put comma false at the end. But I think it's a cool feature, so if you don't include comma false, by default it's on. So that's cool. You can also change the names of the trainers you receive stuff. Right now there is a long list of names of the trainers that you can receive from. And uh, if you wanted to add your own name in, you can just do comma, enter, quotes, and then your name. My name is Camaro in all caps. Um, and then you can also do nicknames for the Pokemon. If you don't like this feature, you can actually go down to the very bottom and exclude that, where it, it sets the P name to be the random Pokemon name. But uh, right now, I'll just keep that in. So yeah, you can add to this list, you can subtract from this list. You can make it so that way every Pokemon that you receive has the same name. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, the way that this works, we'll, we'll run it now, in-game. And then after that, we'll move on to our next script. So I've set it up here, where this is our Wonder Trade lady. And the way it works is she says, I'm the Wonder Trader, and then it runs the Wonder Trade script. And I have it set up where the minimum level is 1, there are no Pokemon, in the first list, so what that means is I can trade any Pokemon I want. If I did want to add a Pokemon to this list, like let's say I can't trade my Machamp away. Let's, you do colon, Machamp. There we go. So now we cannot trade Machamp. If we wanted to exclude another Pokemon, you would do comma, colon, and then the other name of that Pokemon. And keep building that list up. And then the same goes for the exclusions. So if I don't want it to be possible to receive Mewtwo, then I would do colon Mewtwo. There we go. So I've set up a Wonder Trade where the minimum level is 1, you cannot trade Machamps away, and you cannot receive Mewtwo's. So let's test this out now. And one thing that's going to be, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so the thumbnail of this video is the Pokemon that I receive from the Wonder Trade. So let's see what I get. We'll see, we'll see who gets to determine what the thumbnail is, because I really like making the thumbnails. So look, I can't trade my Machamp, but I can trade my Alakazam, my Exploud. I can trade everything else, but not Machamp, because I set that in the Wonder Trade function. So that's cool. 
Let's trade away Swalot. I think out of all these Pokemon, I like Swalot the least. Sorry, Swalot. So he's traded away. And then it'll choose a random name. Stephanie. And then Stephanie, the Staravia will have a random name as well. So let's see. His name is Kroll. So Staravia is the Pokemon on our thumbnail. There it is. So that's our first Wonder Trade script. That's pretty neat. The way it works is pretty easy to uh, explain. And, um, oh yeah, one other cr really critical feature that I didn't touch upon, and I'm going to touch upon right now. This Star this Staravia is level 65, because the, the Swalot that I put in was level 65. The way that this script works is the level of the Pokemon you send in is the level of the Pokemon you take out. So if I send in a level 20, I'm going to receive a level 20. That's just the way the script works. You could probably modify it if you want, but when you just take the base, that's how it is. So yeah, that is the first way of doing Wonder Trade. Now the second way of doing Wonder Trade is a more structured approach, and I'm going to explain that now. So once again, I said it before, but the link to this will be in the description. This is a script called The Trade Expert by the ever so awesome Luca SJ. And the way that Trade Expert works is he looks at the base stats of the Pokemon you are offering, and he makes an offer of a Pokemon with similar base stats. And it's very easy to call. So really all you need to do is copy in all this code here. Just scroll down and copy it all. And I, um, I've already pasted it in my game as well. So here it is, the trade expert. I've pasted all of his code in. And the way that this works is pretty um, easy to break down as well. So let's, let's take a look. So the first thing is the trading bat blacklist. Very explanatory. It even explains it right here for you. This is Pokemon that you cannot obtain. So typically in this list, you'd put legendaries. So um, if you wanted to add another legendary or another Pokemon that you cannot receive, you would just do comma, colon, and then the name of that Pokemon. So let's make it so that way they can't receive... Uh, Mewtwo's already on this list. Let's make it so they can't re receive Lugia. I don't know. Yeah. So that's very easy to add to. And then this is a list of Pokemon that you cannot give to him. So you can't give him Ar Arceus. You can make it so you can't give him... You too. I don't know. Oh yeah, and I did a typo. Boom! Okay, cool. So there are other things you can edit here as well. By default, this margin is 0 .0, 0 0.1. I'm going to explain that now. So when you call this function, all you need to do is type trade expert and then the margin that you want to enter. The margin is a percentage value. Right here, it's all explained for you. From 0.0, .0 to 1.0. I 0.1 is the default, so I'm just using 0 0.1 when I call it. And what that does is the Pokemon that you receive will be in the base stat total range of that. From it, That means it's a 10% range, 90% to 110%. And the reason that this is important is because the base stats are what determine which Pokemon you are offered by the trade expert. So it's, it, it, it's not influenced by the Pokemon's level, it's influenced by the Pokemon's base stats. And... Um, yeah, if you change this number, you can make it so that way you can receive Pokemon higher up in the base stats or lower in the base stats. So at 0.1, you can receive Pokemon that are 10% lower base stats than you or 10% higher. You know, you could do it so it's 1.0. So you can possibly trade for Pokemon that are 100% more base stats than you. But yeah, I'm just going to call this right here Trade Expert 0.1. And uh, I'm going to interact with the guy and we're going to test it. Let's see what Pokemon the Trade Expert offers us. So here's our trade expert. And one thing that's really cool is a lot of the dialogue has already been handled in the scripts. So that's very nice. So you just talk to him and it'll start running the script. Trade expert. Let's see. Let's see what he's got to say. What do you got to offer me? Hey, they call me the trade expert. I specialize in finding rare Pokemon and finding them or and trading them to trainers for Pokemon of equal worth or equal. And then a little bit, you know, is there any Pokemon you'd like me to take a look at? Okay. Uh, yes. How about you take a look at my Swalot? I'm getting rid of this guy. And he thinks about it. He's processing. Hmm. That Swalot of yours is certainly an interesting Pokemon. How about my Sharpedo for your Swalot? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll trade. So one thing that's interesting to note is the, the way that it calculates the trade is based on that Pokemon's base stats. So if you leave and come back and give him the same Swalot, he will still offer you a Sharpedo, if that makes sense. So like, if I say no to that offer and then present the Pokemon again, I will get the same Pokemon. 
but you know if I bring him a different Pokemon with different base stats that'll be different it's really interesting this is a really interesting way to approach Wonder Trade I kind of like it it's uh it's not true random it's uh it's it's nice though so like I've covered two I've covered these two Wonder Trade scripts to show you that there are options there are other ways you can also modify them if you want there's plenty of ways to tweak them and change the settings you can make so the Pokemon have different base stats. You can make that way the Pokemon are different levels than you. You can modify them all if you want to tweak them. But yeah, so these are two different avenues that you can go down if you choose to implement Wonder Trade in your game. And once again, I'm sorry, these are not online. I don't know how to do online, and I think it's probably important to not worry about online in the early stages of your game. I think if you really want to do Wonder Trade, focus on doing it offline first and then build a game and then implement online. I don't know. That's just my personal stance, but yeah. So hopefully this video helped you. You can implement Wonder Trade in your game now. You can do it in multiple ways. And yeah, I, uh, I think that's about it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. I've been busy dealing with some stuff in my life, but we're getting, I'm getting out of that phase now. I'm getting back into the ramp up of doing more videos. And yeah, so thank you once again for watching. Be sure to follow on Twitch and Twitter. I have changed the Twitch name because Twitch does allow us to change our names now. So I am now Thundaga Stream on Twitch. If that's if that's no good, then I might change that again. You know, at least Twitch gives us the flexibility and options to do that now. So that's cool. And um, yeah, join the Thundaga Discord. And I don't really have much else to say. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And uh, goodbye. <laughs>